Hi Pisces, welcome to your general tarot reading for December. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. So we're just going to take it as it comes and we could get anything here. So kind of like anything goes, it could be love, it could be work, career, finances, advice, guidance, uh, social energy, whatever we get here, we're just going to take it. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, male or female, if you're on a collective reading, take it how it resonates for you. If this does resonate for you, there will be an extended reading, and I will tell you all about that at the end of this reading. And there are also timestamps down below, pin top, comment, description box, if you'd like to get right to the reading while I get your cards out here. So what I'm going to do here, Pisces, is get you three opening oracle messages here to see what is most needed for you at this time, see what is going on for you at this time. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. This may or may not resonate with everyone, so please only take the messages that resonate for you. Could be past, present, or future energy, depending how you're looking at it. And I will mention the signs as I see them. So it could be signs in your chart, um, signs around you, or just the energy. So keep that in mind also. And everything that you need to know, Pisces, about me and the channel is down below in the description box and the pin top comment. So please do go check that out. be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, Pisces, let's see what your messages are. Council of Light. Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So this is about, you know, ancestors. This is about guides, spirit team, angel team, passed over loved ones, all here to uh, help in the divine orchestration of your path. All right. To give you guidance, messages, Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. So it's time here to come out of the dark and into the light. And we have come out of the cave. You see the darkness. And now we have the light here. And it's like it's time to come out of the darkness and into the light. Maybe it's time to express yourself. Um, maybe you've been keeping silent. Maybe you've been kind of a hermit lately. And I know it's hard with, you know, with the virus and everything. But I think you're being guided here to finally come out of the darkness. If you've been in dark night of the soul, or if you've been depressed, or if you've been whatever here, it's time to step into the light. We have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So I feel like even though that does say <clears throat> ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Sorry. <coughs> My throat's getting old. Yeah. You need to share your voice. So I feel like breaking the chain is this chain that you're stuck in. You know, you may feel like you're stuck um, in a pattern um, that you're in, but you're being guided here to step into a new future, step into a new light, to break the chains. Maybe you need some, you know, deep healing here. Deep soul healing. All right. So let's see what is going on for you. What is this all about for you, Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Male or Female, General Collective Reading. Let's see what's going on. Why do we have all these messages? I'm going to do a nine-pod spread, and then we will uh, get some energy from the bottom of the deck. All right. Why are these messages here for Pisces? What is this about? For Pisces, please. For Pisces. It's like you see the light. You're looking out from the darkness and you see the light. It's just breaking that chain to step into the light. The light is there for you. And this is you kind of moving forward into the light and looking back like, I can't believe I was stuck all that time in that darkness, in that energy. Okay. Let's see what this is about for you, Pisces. I'm just getting stepping out of the darkness into the light. Isn't there a song? 
coming out of the dark. Glory Estefan. All right. Oh, that's way too many. Okay, we'll take that one. King of Pentacles, King or Queen. All right. Five of Wands. What else here for Pisces? What else here for Pisces? Seven of Wands. Pisces, please. Thank you so much. Three of Cups. You see the light now. Two of Pentacles. Trying to find your balance as you're stepping into the light. Four of Swords. There's that healing. What else here for Pisces? So far, I only see Virgo or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, so Earth Energy. Page of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Heavy Earth Energy here. All right. What else here? And the Emperor. Wow. Aries Energy. Emperor, Empress, this is you finally, finally coming full circle, taking lead charge of your life and doing what you need to do here. You do have the energy here, king or queen, of being very stable, abundant, grounded, smart, practical, and wise. Learning from, you know, everything from the past so you can be most, more stable in the future and in the present moment. This could all be, also be somebody stepping in to help you um, to regain your stability. You know, when we have two, a matching uh, set here, it's like a couple... But I'm not really getting that energy. You know, you could have a friend or somebody around you in social circles that may step in here to kind of help you. It's like passing the coin down to help you become more stable. And here's the offer, the Page of Pentacles. It could be monetary. It could be advice. It could be guidance. It could be leadership. Here, someone to help you regain your balance. Someone maybe you know around... Um, Again, community, social circles, maybe online social circles uh, or something like that. But we do have the five of wands and the seven of wands. So I think, you know, you've been probably through a lot of challenges, trials, tribulations. Because um, the fives can be about challenges, which maybe left you in a very defensive energy here with the seven of wands. Like constantly on guard, defensive. Okay, what's next? What's coming at me next? What's going to happen next? Like constantly in that energy like being in that dark space of like thinking something bad is always going to happen. But we have deep healing here over that for a sword's energy. And now here I feel like finally seeing the light with the two of pentacles, but learning how to balance out that energy of not having so much fear of, you know, bad things happening all the time. So that could be the chain that you're stuck in and like stuck in this dark place. A feeling like something bad is always going to happen. Something bad is uh, around the corner. Somebody has ill intentions. Somebody has an ulterior motive. It kind of keeping yourself like secluded and hidden from the world because you don't want to be hurt. You don't want something bad to happen. But <laughs> you have all this energy here around you telling you it's time to get rid of that energy and step into the light, into the light of the world again, and live your life for a better future. So needing, needing to heal that energy. So I don't know what got you to that point. I mean, only you know your story. You know, maybe, again, you've just been through a lot in life, and that could be the ancestral patterns. Maybe, you know, through generations, you know, bad things have always happened, or there's always been bad luck. But if you have the power to rise up just in your own vibration and step into the light and not give in to that darkness, this can help to break the chain. But you need to take control here of the situation, of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your fears here. Because you do have that stability within you. And it's just learning how to balance that energy out and healing that dark energy. Getting out living life again with the three of cups, a very social energy. You know, having fun, friends, you know, if you can, you know, it's hard with the virus, friends, family, um, that you can, just living life again. 
I, I feel like someone here looking down at you saying, you know, why is this person not living life to their fullest potential? So you may have somebody around you that maybe is sort of like an emperor energy that may help you through this. It could be a counselor, advisor, a uh, wise elder, or, you know, someone wise, a lot of advice to give here. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, the devil. And I was just thinking about the devil energy. And I didn't say it. And spirit's like, okay, well, I'm going to make you say it. That always happens to me. When I think it, I didn't know that was down there. I don't. If I think it and I don't say it, I'm always made to say it. So, yeah, that's that devil energy. Capricorn energy here. Fears, illusion, uh, darkness. That's that dark energy. Nine of Wands, but this is about perseverance and not giving up. You know, been through a lot, so maybe you've just been through a lot of dark energy in your light. But now is the time that you can break that chain and step into the light. It's about not giving up. There's that sabotaging kind of energy with the Five of Swords. Feeling like everything in life has always been sabotaged. Willingly or unwillingly or unknowingly or by others or whatever it was for you. But there's that dark energy again. But here's the planning of a new seed for a better tomorrow, for a better future. Rewriting your future and planting that seed, that intention. There can be growth here. Um, we've got a little, little bunny down here for new, new prosperity, fertility of something new. Six of Cups. So again, could be, you know, past life energy, um, connecting back to your inner child. Thinking back and nostalgia, maybe those happy good times you had as a child, thinking maybe I was thinking back, you know, of the times when you were happy. Why can't I be happy and fulfilled like I was when I was a child? Tapping back into that energy. What made you happy? What made you fulfilled? In that innocent kind of energy. Yeah, you can work to rebuild here for a better future, Pisces, and have more stability around you. Wow, okay, Pisces. So I definitely feel here, it, it's just up to you, your intention. The seed of intention is here. You have to plant it, plant it by, you know, positive affirmations, raising your vibration, being more in a positive mindset, not in a negative mindset. Um, you know, stepping into the light, thinking and being the light, not thinking and being the dark with that devil energy. There is a chance here for you to take control here and heal this and to overcome this pattern. Finally break the chain, get out there, being in the light and not the darkness. Wow, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, well, if that did resonate for you, I'm going to go with the extended reading now. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. We greatly appreciate it. You can check the description box below for the types of readings I provide for every sign each month. And I also may be switching it up and doing some pick-a-card readings, some twin flame readings. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you, and welcome to the family. So go to the extended now, uh, Pisces, and see how, you know, you're going to overcome this, break the chain, step into the light, and how's the future going to look for you. I do have um, Archangel Oracle here, so I'll pull you some advice and guidance from the Archangels, see what they have to say for you. I'll use a separate tarot deck, look further into these um, energies. Maybe we could see how you got to this point, like what happened in your past. Maybe something happened. It could be childhood trauma that you need to heal also, or past life trauma, so you can finally get rid of the darkness and step into the light. So we'll see, maybe if we could see what happened in your past and how's the future going to look with a separate tarot deck here. So links are below to, it will also clarify the messages we get here from your archangels. And I'll tell you what archangels you may need to work with. So links are below to Vimeo or Patreon. Vimeo is a one at a time purchase. Patreon is a monthly membership, which you get access to all my extendeds from all my readings from YouTube. Is monthly reoccurring on the first of every month, but no matter what time of the month you join, they'll charge you then and then again on the first of the next month. So the beginning of the month is always the best time to join. Totally up to you. Um, if you go, I shall see you there. Again, links are below, pin top comment description box. I'll see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.